Welcome back guys. In our last video, we were able to upload images and create main and thumbnail images out of them. And now it's time to save them in database. So for this, we are going to use this package. This is plank slash laravel dash media. It's a very good package. I have used it in the past and that's what I'm going to use now. So let's do a composer require of that and then it's the typical setup so the next thing is let's add the provider we'll go into php storm app.php add it here it has a facade as well which we will add here okay and then let's run the publish command okay now the migration well i already have that in my database so i won't do that these are the two tables which i will come with the migration media and media tables. all right so now what do we need to do let's go to php storm we don't need this file anymore uh, inside media controller this is where we are creating the main image right so this is where we are going to make the media entry okay once we have created the file we are going to make the entry but there is one problem if you see the you know, documentation let me open it up uh, documentation in this uh, where is from source yes. I think it's here yeah so this seems as per the documentation it's a static class but you know when i look at the actual code i found it to be a little different so from source is actually not a static class okay and these are all the things which we need in the constructor to initiate it so i decided why don't we inject it into a controller okay and so what we are going to do is we are going to use media uploader i'll call it media uploader okay and then we'll come back here dollar media equals media sorry what am i doing media uploader from source okay now from source accepts the on a path so we'll do public that dollar folder and then the main file name okay and we will specify the directory so to directory is going to be dollar folder and then we do upload okay and this is going to make an entry to the database okay and one more change is once we do that we will take it here okay so that we have the database entry here so i think that's pretty much it it if we look at the controller so let's try it out we hit refresh okay add new and upload two files one two all right in my sql right this is the media table and we have two entries okay so this is working so now the one thing which we can do is you know, quickly get the listing you know, of the images because we already have them in database right so why don't we do that inside media manager okay, so the first thing is we are going to set up a new api i don't i group them up get um what should be the api name let's call it get media dash media then okay i'm going to use the same controller and function will be list okay so we need to 
create that function in here. Okay. Um, hmm, that's strange. I can't use list, so why don't we change it? Index. This should work. Okay, this is done. Now we already get a model called media with the package. So what we are going to do is dollar images. Dollar images equals media. Um, order by well ordered by the created at it's descending we get all for now returns the response as a JSON data as images okay and it should be 200 request um, yeah that's about it so we need to copy this and inside config why don't we make it get image list and we save it and import that url here okay so let's quickly set up a few things in our uh, view file the first thing which we are going to do is make a call to this URL get image list. So this dot dollar HTTP so get request get image list response and in that once we get the response we will do this dot images equals response dot data dot data which means we need to declare images so I'll say images is an empty array and yeah that should be enough I think uh, the only thing you know we are also going to get the response apart from the file so on show success we'll get or rather take that response then this dot image dot unshift which means on the first place we will say response dot data um, or will it be data dot data okay I have to check that anyways we'll, we'll do that as well um, this is done why don't we now simply go into our HTML file have a new wrapper we'll call it dot gallery wrapper we'll have a clear fix as well okay and inside that we will have a ul an li okay and in this we'll have v4 image and images and img the source will be v bind source equals image dot directory okay this is where we need to do the concatenation because uh, you know this is the row which will come so we'll first need to do directory then file name then extension okay so directory then we concat plus sorry slash and then this image dot file name then we concat a dot sorry and then we concat image dot extension okay that's done um, so this is all good everything is working fine so let's look at code now running or not yes the two images are coming they are big in size we can oh by the way I am not 
taking the thumb that's why it is so big okay so these are the thumbnails <coughs> we are getting that and if i do add image and let's upload this one okay cannot read property on shift of undefined so which means um what is the data so we have data in this i'm doing response to data. why don't i console it and see what is coming actually let's see upload upload this file and small we have response data that's what i'm using something is not right oh i understand so this is image and that's where the problem was that's why it is getting undefined so hit refresh once more we have four images again we'll upload this one and this one again let's try that out so the first one and the second one oh, anyway. doesn't matter so first image got uploaded and that's there all right so first second both of them got uploaded and we have the list so uh, once i upload this code obviously i'll have some css markup in here for you know this to look proper but yeah that's how you know we use drop zone to handle image uploads every image entry is going into the media table and for on refresh we are loading it into a component using an ajax request now this is definitely something which i'm going to you know refactor and you know groom into a proper component where we take this as a separate component you know uh, and use uh, stores so stay tuned you know keep looking at the videos and if you like them do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel